because I bought something that I've been looking at. These pancakes look, they actually look so fluffy and delicioso and some berries, so we're keeping it healthy. I threw in two Splendas, well Stevia's, and then just a little bit of whole milk on a crisp, cold New York day. Yum! an apple it kind of reminds me of like an adam and eve shoe baby look how gorgeous the velvet and the lavender with the gold so it gives yeah. that, that breathing space in the back and even for the heel it's not like too i don't know i don't feel like all of my weight on it yeah no it's like a beige like yeah chunky sweater but then the chic details. Guys, guess where I'm going? We are here, the Cartier Mansion today, and there is no line. Look how amazing this is. Today is actually my lucky day. Look how gorgeous this boutique is. So the lights are kind of killing me right now, but how beautiful is this boutique? Well, there used to be the photo of Maisie Plant there, but it's not anymore. So you guys already know this pave bracelet is on my wish list. Love all of the skeleton washes. The posh is gorgeous. Torque. I do think the Ecro and the Clash. Well, I would say mostly the Ecro. A lot of people kind of forget how cool the Ecro is. We're going to take the stairs and get our steps in. Here she is. Guys, look how massive. The mansion is four floors of pure luxury. So I'm actually getting an hourglass wrist from how tight this bracelet is. I might have to move it. I'm truly in between sizes. I don't think a size 17 will be good because it's a little too loose and I'm not sure that I want it to be like a huge rotating bangle. I do believe that the Cartier bangle is a perfect oval and it should sit right on your wrist and not rotate all the way okay so here's the 17 but it rotates a little too much damn i actually am in between sizes so even when stacking i mean it still looks thank good you on. yeah yeah i think it still looks good yeah. i want this gives you a little more hold right this one is a little more stuck so it's just so stuck to make that kind of decision of like do i want to do i want that bangle yeah kind of my look or do i want more of this like I might just have to move it down to my left wrist because that's like my non-dominant like wrist. Midget. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, it gives you that midget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give that back to you. Thank yeah, you so awesome. much. My pleasure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that makes me happy. Diamonds are good. Look at that. She's so beautiful. Wow. That's so nice. I am just impatiently waiting for my package and I am so excited to show it to you guys. How beautiful is this boutique? They renovated it. All the memories that are coming back to me right now. It looks so different. Wow. Stunning. Look at that high jewelry piece. Making 
it to the fourth floor, fourth floor. I have to get my bracelets polished. So this is where the service salon is. How cool is this piece? This is like a high jewelry, like if it's not in front of you, they'll kind of just put it in like a 3D model for you. So I went, as you saw, to the Fifth Avenue Cartier Mansion. And I did go in there to actually try on the size 17 love bracelets because I feel like I have an hourglass wrist because I, I just think it could just be the weight gain, but I do think that like they're slightly tight. There's only a little bit of movement, which is it is how it should be, but I didn't think that my whole kind of wrist would be indented. So I went to try on the size 17 love bracelets and they were actually too, too large. My theory was that because I am stacking, it feels even tighter. And typically when I, I never actually had tried on the size 17. I just tried on the 16 and I knew that it was the good size, but I never tried on the 17 and I never tried on the 17 stacked, I mean to say. So multiple size 17s and it was still way too large. It was rotating on my wrist. So I am truly in between. Um, but I might have to just move my bracelets over to my left side or we'll see what happens with my journey, my weight loss journey and see how that feels. But I did go in there to pick something up. I am or I was in need of a watch. So I picked up a little baby in here. Pause the video and let me know what you guys think is inside of this box. I picked up this beautiful Rond Solo watch and we had to also get the alligator strap guys how beautiful is this piece oh my god let me show it to you on I was in need of something just a classic simple watch I think it's a perfect size for my wrist I'm not a girl who really likes big chunky chunky watches so sometimes I look at APs and I do think they're so beautiful but they can be a bit overwhelming on my frame. I discuss this with bags, whether it be a trend or not. I prefer a bit of a vintage, smaller face. This has the beautiful alligator strap. Now the Ronde, unlike the Ballon Bleu, has actually a really flat, clean face. You have the gorgeous Roman numerals, you have the beautiful blue stainless steel hands, and then the cabochon typically is sapphire. You put it on. I try to adjust it so that it can be, it's still like a little bit loose, so I need to keep adjusting it because the leather strap, but the leather should, with wear, become a little bit softer and then should mold to your wrist a little bit. I do think a, a little bit of space for movement is good. You don't want your watch to be super fitted. It's not going to be a very comfortable feeling. Here it is on. And I just think it's a very simple, beautiful piece. If you are kind of building your watch closet, a great starter piece could be the Rond, uh, could be the classic tank, which is a beautiful rectangular shape. And I'll go ahead and I'll put it up here um, with the leather straps. Sometimes people prefer a little bit more of an edgier look. So I do think that the stainless steel bracelet kind of adds that. The leather strap has more of a vintage look. It has more of a really laid back, kind of studious vibe, if you may. Look who came to visit me, Cari! Named after Cartier. Right, Baba? Okay, he's scared of something. I could give this to my daughter when I'm done using it. Like down the line. Oh, she can, she can have a vintage, like as her watch, she can have a vintage Cartier watch. You know, I met so many people that used to come into the store and they used to say, hey, can you fix this watch, blah, blah, blah. And we would send it to the workshop. But they would say, this used to be my grandmother's watch. And I would be kind of amazed because their grandmother had this watch from the 1960s. And that's really a nice story and a beautiful piece to have. And it's something that's no longer made. So I think that the Ron is going to be that way as well. I, you know, it kind of makes it more unique. So I do think I can give this to, God willing, my daughter or my child one day as kind of their memorable gift. Did you hear that? Wow. Hi, Angelo. Guys, you see him? That's Angelo, my chubby. Oh, he wants his bed. Okay, so I'm filming in his bedroom.